All right, uh, I'm recording this video just to help others that may have run into a similar situation as me. Uh, I needed to pull the uh, uh, closed captions or uh, the the described or transcribed text uh, from a YouTube video. Now, this uh, particular video, uh, this is just one that uh, um, I am randomly pulling. I like photography, saw the video, uh, just grabbed it. So, um, just an example here. All right, so I've come into YouTube. We have the video up. We're going to go down to the uh, share uh, location, but we're going to click on more for more actions, and you can find the transcript. Again, this is machine encoded, so it's not professionally done. It's not going to be clean. Uh, however, it gives us a good start if uh, we're trying to get the text of what somebody said. If we have to transcribe something and clean it up, it's a lot easier to, to start from here. Uh, so I'm highlighting. I'm going to scroll down, hold down the shift button, uh, click the end. Uh, that way it uh, uh, grabs everything. And I'm going to right click and say copy. Now, uh, I'm, I'm using a Mac. There are a few uh, utilities out there for the PC. I couldn't find anything worthwhile for the Mac or anything that was still working. It seemed like uh, most of the searches I did uh, yielded uh, tools that either didn't work anymore or were only available for PC and uh, may not have worked on the PC either. Uh, so that's why I'm putting this together. We are going to uh, actually go to Word first um, and we're going to paste it into Word. I've already got it in there, but we'll, we'll repaste over. And uh, uh, from here, we need to uh, move into a uh, text editor of some sort that uses regular expressions. And, and don't let that scare you. I'll give you the expression to work with. Um, I am, like I said, on a Mac. I don't have Notepad++. Uh, when I use the PC, I always use Notepad++. Uh, there are some other alternatives to... Uh, uh, Notepad++ on a Mac, uh, but I uh, uh, am a web developer, so I have Dreamweaver on here, and I know that it uses regular expressions. Uh, so I'm going to copy from here. And uh, by the way, if you try to copy directly into Dreamweaver, it's going to create div tags. It's going to do all sorts of stuff. I haven't found a clean way to really do this without going to a uh, intermediate program like uh, Microsoft Word. Uh, Notepad++ may be different. Uh, there may be other utilities that paste it a little cleaner, but uh, mine did not. So I go here first, then I'm going to go to Dreamweaver. Uh, I've already pasted this in there, but uh, uh, I, from here we're ready to do a find and replace. And uh, sorry, I end up using a lot of shortcut keys, but that's Command F to pull that up. And uh, uh, then we are going to put in the regular expression. And I am pulling from a Stack Overflow article where somebody's already written this nifty little expression here. So I can't uh, uh, claim that I am a, um, a regular expression guru, uh, but I can certainly copy from the, the hard work that they did. And I'm going back over to Dreamweaver. I'm going to paste that expression in and... Uh, uh, I'm going to click in the source code. We're going to say source code. And I'm going to hit replace all, but you're going to notice that something crazy happens. We only get all of the timing information. That's not what we want. So I'm going to command Z or, con or control Z if you're on a PC. We're going to undo that. I want it to do every other line. Uh, he tells you a way to N minus 1 to do it, but it's easier just to delete the first line. Do the same thing. We're going to paste it in there. Don't forget uh, we're replacing with the dollar sign one here. Replace all. Oh. And one error that I made is I did not do it from the source code. So if you don't do it from source code, that's what happens. Dollar sign one is what we're replacing. Regular expressions needs to be checked. Uh, I forgot to mention that earlier. Uh, we are going to replace all. One more time. Source code, regular expressions, replace all. I must need to select it all. Uh, 
All right. So now we've got everything uh, cleaned up except we have spaces in there. We may not want those spaces. If you want to clean those up too, uh, that's pretty simple to do. Uh, we are going to do a find replace on the BR tag, add a space, and replace all. Now we've got everything one long uh, line of text. Uh, looks like we actually had a paragraph or something in there. Yep, sure did. Um, Normally you won't have paragraphs, but perhaps because there was a strong tag for some reason it uh, decided a paragraph belonged there. Uh, anyway, that's how you can get to the uh, transcription text uh, so that you can clean it up or do whatever you want with it without timing information. I hope that's helpful to someone. If it is, please leave a comment behind. If you find another way of doing it that's a little cleaner, a little easier, let me know as well. I'd love to find out. Thanks a lot.